Hello, everyone. I welcome you all to our webinar today. My name is Isabel. In a few minutes, I will be extending a warm welcome to Edgar with the topic Conduct Productive Meetings and Improve Collaboration with ELO Meeting. Here's a little more information for you before we start. You will be muted during the webinar, but are welcome to ask questions about your go-to webinar in the question box at any time. After the webinar, we will of course take the time to answer them. You also hardly need to take notes. You will receive the training materials relatively soon. And now you can look forward to an interesting presentation. Welcome, Edgar. I'll hand over to you now. Thank you and a uh, warm welcome from me as well. Today, I will show you how you can conduct productive meetings and improve your collaboration by using ELU Meeting and what is necessary for using ELU Meeting. So, first of all, we will start with, um, or we will have a look at meetings in your company. Uh, what's all about the meetings? So, everyone has meetings. How long do they take and are they efficient? Um, and so on. Then we'll have a look on ELU Meeting itself, the solution for planning and conducting meetings in your company. Then I will show you how ELU Meeting works. Then we'll have a look on the three different editions of ELU Meeting um, and what are the differences between those three different editions. Then I'll show you in a live demo how ELU Meeting works, how you can make a meeting with ELU Meeting, and what are the benefits of using ELU Meeting for meeting management in your company. And then we'll have a look at what you need for ELU Meeting, what's necessary for um, using ELU Meeting in your company, and if there are any questions then I will answer them in the end. And if you have some questions during the webinar, just ask them in your question box in your GoToWebinar application, and then we will answer them in the end. So let's have a look on meetings in your company. So everybody has meetings today, and that's a typical meeting calendar uh, which we have. So we have some meetings on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, some are daily meetings, some are um, department related meetings, and in this case, we have some meetings with employees as well, and project meetings we have here as well. And the optimal length of a meeting is 15 to 20 minutes. But most of the time, a meeting takes longer because an average meeting lasts 31 to 60 minutes. Um, and that's a little gap, but well, it doesn't matter because it takes some time um, until the participants of the meeting um, are finished with drinking coffee or chatting with each other. So an average meeting lasts 31 to 60 minutes. Um, doesn't matter how long it takes, as long as it has some outcome. Management in the company spends up to 50% of the work time on meetings. So half of the time uh, when they are in the office or when they are working for the company, um, they spend in some meetings. And 71% of senior executives say that meetings are inefficient. So two thirds, more than two thirds of the meetings are inefficient and they don't have an outcome or nobody's prepared or something. Because there's some reasons for this, uh, for unproductive meetings. 28% uh, of the meetings are unproductive because the participants are not prepared for this. So nobody knows what's the topic of the meeting. Um, maybe I don't know what to do there, but I have received an invitation. So that's the reason why I'm there and so on. Um, second thing, 25% of the meetings 
are unproductive because there are no follow-up tasks. Um, so uh, I had to do something um, and nobody was asking for it. 20% of the meetings are unproductive because of poor communications. Uh, maybe I don't have an agenda. So what's the meeting for? What's the reason for the meeting? Um, then 17% of the meetings are unproductive because time allocated is not observed. And 13% of meetings are unproductive because nobody takes some meeting minutes. So those are the factors for unproductive meetings. Um, nobody's prepared, nobody knows what to do. Uh, no one tells the others what's the topic of the meeting, we don't have an agenda, and so on. But it sh could be so easy, because there are some strategies for making meetings more productive. For example, set clear objectives and an agenda. Um, surprisingly, most of the meetings don't have an agenda. Some of the meetings should have been an email, for example would fit as well. Um, but if you set clear objectives and an agenda, then maybe the participants come prepared. The participants know what to prepare for, because when you don't have an agenda, nobody knows what to prepare. That's the second point. Make sure that the participants are prepared. And if they don't have to do something in the meeting, then uh, maybe they um, walk out of the meeting and they have some tasks. Then keep the meeting short and focused. Nobody likes four-hour meetings or something um, and the meeting ends when everybody's just answering their own emails. So keep the meeting short and focused. 40 minutes to an hour should fit for a meeting because everything that takes longer isn't necessary. Then take meeting minutes that somebody who was participating in the meeting knows what we were talking on Monday. Because honestly, I don't know what I was talking in the meetings on Monday. I have to read the meeting minutes. And last but not least, follow up after the meeting. I have a task or we have some meeting minutes. We have made some decisions. So somebody had to do something. I need to make a follow-up after the meeting because uh, otherwise the meeting would be unproductive. So I'll give you an example. We're going back to our calendar and we have some calendar entries. Tomorrow I have a meeting with product management. And well, no, not tomorrow, on Thursday. Today's Tuesday, sorry. Um, so some questions which I may ask, is there an agenda? Who are the participants? Are the minutes of the last meeting? Should I prepare something? And is some information provided? Are there some documents which are related to this meeting which could be interesting for the preparation to this meeting? And what's the topic? What are the topics? Is there an agenda? Um, those are... Um, useful information before starting the meeting, because then I can use 30 minutes before the meeting starts for preparation. Or on the other hand, I had a meeting on Monday to the project ECMI, and I was thinking yesterday I had a meeting. Okay, uh, what were we talking about? And I remember a little bit. Um, who were the participants? Maybe I know. Um, did we discuss something? And if we discussed something, what did we discuss? Did we maybe vote on something? Do I have a new task? And where are the meeting minutes? So those are questions which you may ask yourself every week on Tuesday or something. Um, what was the topic on the last meeting? What will be the topics on the future meetings um, on Thursday? Uh, who were the participants? Who are the participants? And do I have a task or should I prepare something? And 
normally this happens in your let's say outlook calendar and then the outlook calendar there's only the meeting in and maybe a teams link or something so there's no document in it maybe there is a document in it but nobody sees the document because everybody just approves uh, the invitation and nobody reads documents which are in calendar entries um, and maybe well the participants I can find out with um, the calendar entry in my outlook but nothing else an agenda maybe most of the time not so then you start first of all you will start to search your emails because maybe someone has written something on this topic maybe um, I received the information earlier but I can't remember or I can remember but don't know who sent the information and when you don't find something then you will have a look in your files or on your file share because maybe there's something and when you don't find anything there then you will have to ask your colleagues and maybe you will get the information and this just takes time unnecessarily long time because when I had everything in my meeting entry in my meeting documents related to the meeting an agenda um, the meeting minutes from the last meeting um, votings inside notes and so on then it would be much easier it wouldn't take so much time to find those informations and this can be done with the business solution ELO meeting because with um, ELO meeting you have everything in one place and you know where to look for you don't have to look in your outlook in your mails in your your files um, you don't even have to talk to your colleagues well which is bad but can find everything in the ELU ECMC suite in ELU meeting so what can you do with ELU meeting this is the same example, the same calendar, but only in ELU meeting. We have our calendar view where we have our meetings in there. We, have a we had a marketing meeting on Monday. Um, every day at 11, I have a daily meeting. Um, on Monday, I had the project meeting for ECME, an HR meeting, and so on. Uh, and this is my overview. And the same calendar view you will have in your outlook as well because ELO meeting creates outlook um, calendar entries uh, for the meetings where you received an invitation and then let's have a look at our project ACME um, which was on Monday and for this we have for example an agenda uh, with four points in it we received a project update uh, we defined the next steps we were talking about the issues and we had a fourth point for the tasks um, if there were some tasks which are off topic which are uh, not related to the other three topics then we could have um, them in here so that's the agenda for the meeting and when you just go on one agenda entry in this case the project update then in this case you have a related document um, in there as well uh, the project initiation ACME LLC uh, filed by Adrian Smith so that's a useful document for preparation um, on this topic on the project update So that's the document and then we have the attendance list as well the participants are in here as well so with Adrian Smith uh, Daniel Cooper and Julia Allen all three are participants of the meeting and that's what you um, get when you when you're looking on the calendar view of ELO meeting you have calendar entries and you have the meeting details on the right as well so that's the overview um, before we start with the live presentation um, I'll 
have to explain how ELU meeting works. It's not as complicated as you think, but you have to, to remind some things with ELU meeting. First of all, ELU meeting starts with a so-called meeting board. The meeting board, you can say it's the template for your meetings. And um, in the meeting board, you can define agenda items, which you always need for the, this kind of meetings. Um, you can define the members or participants of the meeting, and you can define the notifications, which will be sent automatically. So, for example, we have our project meetings. Um, we had two project meetings in our calendar view, one for ECMI, one for Pinford. Um, all two of them were created in the meeting board for project meetings, where the agenda items are always the same, project updates, issues, next steps, and tasks. The members are always the same as well in this case. So we have Adrian Smith, he's the um, consulting director with Daniel Cooper, he's the CEO. And we have Julia Allen, she's um, the project manager of the customer. So those are always the same members. Um, in this case, in the meeting board, I only would use Adrian Smith and Daniel Cooper. And then we have the notifications. Um, you can send automatic created uh, notifications, for example, four days before the meeting starts, the members will receive a notification that the meeting will start. And that's the meeting board. That's the template for your meetings. And you can create a meeting board for different things, for topics, for example, like project meetings, or you can create a meeting board for department meetings as well, or maybe for management meetings. So when it's topic related or department related, then you should create a meeting board. And within this meeting board, you can create the meetings. So you can create, in this case, one, two, three, four, five, meetings um, and they are all created with the same agenda items with the same members and with the same notifications and you can add agenda items as well you can add members as well or you can delete some members um, that doesn't matter but normally you create the meeting board and um, when you create the meetings then the agenda items are the same the members are the same and the notifications are the same and then you have the meeting entries and the meeting entry consists of different things a date for example which would be um necessary for a meeting i think um the agenda items the members and uh, the notifications and then you have some information in your meeting so who were the participants in this case not the three which i mentioned earlier but in this case five then we have two documents with three tasks. We didn't vote on anything, but I have one note for this as well. So you have every information in one place. And when the meeting um, has ended, then you know where to find the information because you know when the meeting uh, took place and then you go in ELO meeting and then you can see all those information stored in one place in ELO meeting. So those are the benefits of using ELO meeting. You have everything in one place. You can create template for your meeting with the meeting board um, and you know where to look for. You can even create tasks, which then will be tasks in your ELO and the users know what to do. The employees, the participants know what to do, what are the next steps, how this works. I'll show you in the live presentation. ELO meeting comes in three different editions. So the first edition is ELO meeting starter. The second is ELO meeting, you can call it ELO meeting standard, but it's only called ELO meeting. And then we have ELO meeting premium. What are the differences? ELO Meeting Starter doesn't need a license. ELO Meeting Starter comes with the ELO ECM suite. ELO Meeting and ELO Meeting Premium need a license. So those are the first differences. But there are some more. 
your meeting starter um, lets you create a single meeting board. So you can create a meeting board, for example, for project meetings or department meetings um, or anything else. It has a Microsoft Teams integration, so you can create the Microsoft Teams um, link with um, Edo Meeting Starter, um, as well as uh, an Outlook calendar entry. Uh, you can send notifications and reminder automatically. You have a planning assistant, you have a calendar view, you can use some templates, and you have the agenda app. Edo Meeting um standard um has the same functionality but lets you create multiple meeting boards so with microsoft teams and outlook integration as well notifications and reminder planning assistant calendar templates and the agenda app but you can create more than one meeting board and then we have elo meeting premium which has all the same functions as elo meeting but some more things uh, an approval process for meetings. For example, a meeting has to be approved by others before um, it is published. Then you can create some registration deadlines, you can create proposals, you can create extraordinary meetings, um, you can create a registration process for items, and you can create a meeting file. So, those are the differences between the three different editions, ELO Meeting Starter, one single meeting board, ELO Meeting um, allows you to create multiple meeting boards and ELO Meeting Premium has some more function uh, like approval and registration process for items or um, registration deadlines and so on. So when do I need which edition of ELO Meeting? ELO Meeting Starter is included in the ELO ECM Suite. So when you um, use the ELO ECM Suite um, version 23, then you can use ELO Meeting Starter as well. Um, it has to be installed, but then you can create one single meeting board and then you can um, create some meetings as well. ELO Meeting in the standard version is for everyday meetings in your company, so you can use it for um, um, project meetings, department meetings, meetings with employees, and so on. Um, and ELO Meeting Premium is used for board meetings or council meetings, public administration, parliament sessions, and so on. So everything what's government and bigger than your daily work um, for this is ELO Meeting Premium. So those are the three editions of ELO Meeting, and now we'll have a look at ELO Meeting uh, and what you can do with it. So for this, I've prepared my presentation environment, and I'm logged in as Daniel Cooper in my ELO client, in this case, in the ELO web client. Daniel Cooper is the CEO of Contilo Corp. And, um, well, he has many meetings, um, and he uses ELO Meeting for this. So, to get to his meeting calendar, we have the tile here, which says meeting calendar, uh, or we can create a new meeting here as well. But first of all, we want to have a look at our meeting calendar. So, and then we click on it, and then we are here in our meeting calendar, which may look familiar because... I took the screenshot from this meeting calendar. And here we have uh, the meetings with a marketing week meeting with marketing. Uh, we have an HR meeting with a finance meeting with a sales meeting. Those are department related meetings, product management as well. And the different colors come from the different meeting boards which were used for this. For the marketing meeting, the marketing meeting board was used. For the HR meeting, the HR meeting board was used. So every department in this company has its own meeting board and can create meetings in there. On the other hand, we have topic re related meeting boards as well. For example, project meetings, project ACME, project Binford, those are project meetings. And then we have 
some other colors here as well, where only names are written in it, Adrian Smith and William Johnson. Those are the meetings which can be found in the employee meeting board. So I have, as Daniel Cooper, in my own meeting board for employee meetings where only I have access to it and nobody else, and I can create the meetings. And when I invite Adrian Smith, then he has um, the possibility to, to access the meeting as well, and then he can bring in some topics. And then we have here one um, calendar entry which says productive meetings and improved collaboration. That's our webinar today. And in this webinar, which is opened here on the left, right, uh, I have an agenda in here as well. So I have 1.4 preparation, which start at half past one, then the introduction, the solution, the live demo, and the questions and answer. So I've just prepared it for, for this webinar to see how it would look like when I would use ELO meeting for this webinar. And then we go on the preparation and there's nothing in it because it's just for me, for um, the um, webinar to know when to say what. But um, what can I do with this meeting now? Because on the right, I have opened the meeting assistant. The meeting assistant is a way label when I am responsible for the meeting and I am the minute taker for the meeting. So in this case, I am the minute taker and now I can do some things. For example, I can start the meeting with meetings action, meeting actions. So when I click start meeting, then I will get an information that the meeting has started. Well, I know it's 27 minutes too late, but it's just for demonstration. Um, and then the meeting is started. And then next thing what I can do, I can check the attendance. So I have two attendees, three in this case, myself and two others. Um, and now I can check the attendance. Who's there? Daniel Cooper is here. David Lee sits next to me and Elizabeth Saunders on my right. So check the attendance and then I can confirm three of three um, have participated in the meeting. And then we can go through um, the um, agenda items. And when we are finished, then we can end the meeting. So I'll just end the meeting here. So the meeting took one minute. Um, and everything which happened during the meeting can be found in the document feed. So I can see where, or in the meeting feed, I can see um, that I created two hours ago the new meeting. Um, then I edited the list of the meeting participants. I have rescheduled the meeting because um, I forgot to to think of the preparation time, and I rescheduled it from 2 p.m. to 1:30 p.m. Then two minutes ago I started the meeting, and a few seconds ago I ended the meeting. So that's just an example how to work with meetings. Uh, when the meetings take place. On the other hand, when we go back on Monday, yesterday at 1 p.m., I had the Project ACME meeting. And now I want to know, hmm, okay, um, the meeting took place because there's ended written. Uh, who was there? Adrian Smith was there, Daniel Cooper was there, and Julia Allen was there, and they were present. Let's check. Uh, the, the presence of the attendees. And what were we talking about? Okay, we have created a project, uh, we were talking about the project update. There we find our document, the project initiation for ECMI LLC, which was filed by Adrian Smith. So this was filed before the meeting started. I could then prepare for the meeting with this. And then we were talking about uh, some things, and then uh, we were thinking of, okay, um, 
maybe we should improve our project documentation. So we created a new task, improvements on project, project documentation. Was assigned to Adrian Smith, uh, and he has to do something until next week, Monday. So that's follow up on tasks. I have created a task for this, or he has created the task for himself. Uh, and now he knows that he has to do something on improving the project documentation. What's wrong? Next steps, nothing written in it. Yeah. Uh, in the issues. We've created a new task as well. Uh, we need a new resource from consulting. Um, so this is what you can do with meetings which um, took place already. You get the information in here. So let's say, well, I want to create a new meeting um, in here because I'm Daniel Cooper. I'm the CEO. I can do it. Um, then if I want to do it in here, I can go to new meeting, new meeting, and then a new meeting is created. Uh, it used the meeting board for webinars, which I created earlier, because um, I've selected the webinars um, meeting for creating the new meeting, but I can select another meeting board as well. Let's have a look. No, I can't. I could select another meeting board. No, let's leave it here. And then we'll say, OK, uh, webinar um, invoice management. That's the title of the webinar. Minute taker will be Daniel Cooper. And then I can um, define a date and time. Well, let's say from 1500 to 1600, yes. And then I could type in the description as well. Date is today, the second webinar. I'm the CEO, I don't have to do anything but making webinars. And then I can um, define the participants in this case, in this case, when I'm able to type it the right way, it is Cooper Daniel and maybe mm, Mr. Smith as well, and so on. Then there's the information about the notifications. So what can we do with the notifications? We can send some messages. We can send um, a notification on the upcoming appointment. And who do we want to send it to? To uh, the members and the guests. We want to set, send it five days before the meeting starts. Before start date. So, well, in this case, the meeting is today. It doesn't make sense, but they would have uh, received a notification on the 11th of January that there will be a meeting. And then I could create the recurrence as well. So if I want to let it recur, um, I can um, create the recurrence here. A maximum of 12 recurrences. So, well, I could make it every week or something. 24th and on the 31st, something like this. So this can be done as well. Um, in this case, it's just a webinar. We don't need a recurrence here. But that's it. How, that's how you create the meeting. Uh, you create the title, oh, you name it, um, you give it a title. You could create 
um, the location here as well, or define the location and the room here as well. Who's the minute taker? What's uh, on which meeting board um, is this created? I sh can provide a description as well. Here are the participants, the notifications, and the recurrence. So, and then I say OK, and then the meeting is created. Takes some time. But then we are here in our meeting with our agenda, introduction, the solution, a live demo, and question and answer. And here you can see where it is created. So that's our structure in the ELUECM suite, Contilu Corp, management meetings, and then we have some um, meeting boards for daily meetings, employee meetings, executive assistant meetings, uh, management meetings, and for webinars as well. And in here, we find our meetings for the webinars that can be seen in the calendar view as well. When we refresh it, here it is, webinar on invoice management. It's the same, here's the agenda, um, here's the attendance list, and when I click on open assistant, then I can use the assistant as well. So that's how you can create a meeting in Edu Meeting. And when it's configured properly, then a new calendar entry in your Outlook calendar is created. And um, when you select a meeting in here, then you can create or update when it is created um, the Outlook and Teams meeting um, as well manually. So you can define it that it gets created automatically, but you can create it manually as well. So that's how you work with ELU meeting. You have a meeting board, um, you have meetings, you have everything in one place. And when you think, uh, what were we talking about in the meeting on Monday, then you can have a look there. So for this, it's time saving because you don't have to look in your mails, you don't have to look in your files, you don't have to ask your colleagues because you know where to look for. You have transparent information because everything is in one place. It's efficient collaboration because when you prepare the meetings properly with an agenda, uh, with follow-up from the last meeting, with the meeting minutes from the last meeting in there, or with information for the participants, then they can prepare, or you can invite them to bring in their own agenda items, for example. You get an automated notification, so no one can forget that the meeting takes place or will take place because it's an automated notification for this. Um, it comes with the Microsoft Teams and Outlook integration, and you can distribute the tasks in here as well. What do you need for ELU meeting? Well, first of all, you need an ELU ECM suite. The ELU ECM suite is the software for enterprise content management, with which you can manage your users and groups. It's a platform for secure digital filing, um, you can work with workflows or you can get things done faster with automated tasks. And on top of this, you can um, install the business solution ELU Meeting. When you don't have a license, then it's ELU Meeting Starter. For ELU Meeting Standard and, and Premium, you need a license. But with the business solution ELU Meeting, it's ELU Meeting Starter. You can use one meeting board, but then you can create different meetings in here. And if you have some more questions on ELU Meeting and how to get ELU Meeting, then you can find uh, your partner, um, which is next to you, with the ELU Partner find Finder, which can be found under this link or with this QR code. So that's it with ELU Meeting. And as far as I can see, there are no questions so far. Um, there is one question, just a second.
is there a single place where all the tasks um, from the different meetings can be seen? Well, every employee who has received the task can see his or her task in her task section in the Louis CM suite. Um, the tasks itself uh, can be seen in um, the agenda items or maybe in the meeting itself. I'm not quite sure if you can see it in the meeting itself, but the employees get the tasks in the task section so they know what they have to do. Okay. So when there are no more questions, then I say thank you for your attention. And if you're interested in getting more information on ELU meeting, just have a look on our website where you can get some more information on this and where you can find the ELU business partner next to you. So thank you for your attention and see you next time. Thank you, Edgar, for this great presentation. Now I would like to talk about our upcoming webinars in just a moment. Yes, you can register via the following link on the website illo.com slash web seminar. Please keep in mind you can register up to one hour before the webinar starts. Thank you for your attending today. I wish you all the best and until next time. Goodbye.